So why do I deserve this? Okay, 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 let's calm down, put, put the firearm away. I'm pretty sure whatever it is you're upset about, we can talk about it and, you know, just to be a reasonable, calm, and reasonable adults. No, I don't think so. Hazashi, you bastard. You, you deserve the slug between the eyes. Really? I pray tell, what did I do to deserve such punishment? Oh, oh don't play dumb me, you bastard demon. Uh, hey. Hey, 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 you, you can not blame your life choices on me. Okay, you, you're the one that summoned a demon from, you know, hell. For... You just don't remind me. Besides, seriously, you, you can't have buyer's remorse now. We have a kid together. That's the problem. Huh? Yeah. It's Izuku. Uh, what do you mean, Izuku? How can you just blame the kid and shoot me? No, that's not why. For some reason, I've been sensing a lot of weird energy around him. Oh, damn psychics. You're going to have to be very specific on weird energy. I am a demon. Remember? It feels like there's more than one person in there. Um... Like, like possession or something. I have nothing to do with that. No. I'm going through all my old journals as well as those in my family. I noticed. It's like he has more than one soul. It's similar. To, they're similar to each other, but also different. I would like an explanation. Oh, 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 no. Oh, that's, that's very bad. Explain. Well, I, um, I don't think you, you would really want to hear my explanation on what's happening to our kid. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. He's a Cerberus. What? Cerberus. Well, come on. Seriously. Psychics don't know about Cerberus? Greek mythology? Kind of like that. Think of it like this. Wow. The Greek version has three heads, each individuals and everything. It's sharing one body. It... You know, for demons and whatnot, it's three souls. What? Oh, yeah. If anything, it's going to be quite the experience for the kid. What makes you say, think of it like this. You ever stayed with a roommate? Or two, in this case. But they are so similar to you, and but each of you have your own different ideas of how things should go, how certain things should be dealt with. 
Yeah. Yeah, just imagine uh, instead of sharing an apartment or a house together, you share a body. And each of you want to call the shots. Are you saying that our son? Yeah, he has three souls in his body. Each of them wants to take control. Or very least, be the main consciousness or soul piloting everything else. Oh my god, if anything, I... No, 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 that... How's this happen? Well, it's rare for it to happen. Usually, when demons and humans, you know, even psychics as you, uh, bear children together, the kid either turns in, into a demon or probably human or some kind of mix, but. Uh, once in the blue moon, it could result in a Cerberus. Okay, what's the worst thing? What's the worst case scenario when it comes to this? Well, um, there's a lot that actually can happen. Because when it comes to this, Cerberus, um, they are actually very powerful. Explain. Think like this. When it comes to souls, usually you mostly have only one. And one soul in general has a lot of power tied to it. Like, Heck, one of the reasons why we demons make deals with uh, unsuspecting humans or naive women who want to boost their own abilities. <clears throat> Don't forget this uh, year, stand just uh, a little too close to the sun with a shotgun. Good point, but either way, yeah, if I, we try to gather souls to increase our power or and or influence. I mean, we demons don't have souls, really. Really? No. Technically, souls go to either heaven, hell, purgatory, you, you know. Because we were already there. This is pretty much a it for us. I mean, yeah, you could kill me here, but chances are I'm still going home, so to speak. To really get rid of me, you have to destroy everything, leave nothing. Yeah, right thing is what you see is what you get. You, you guys get technically two chances of life. Well, we're usually stuck unless we're summoned and. Ugh. It is not pleasant. So, our son is going to be very powerful. We have without doubt. Our oh, soul is crazy. <laughs> Let alone three of them. One thing is, it's going to be very problematic. How? Well, imagine you have 
to other people just yelling inside your mind saying let me drive let me drive or trying to make it so you lose your grip on controls how would you feel I go fucking crazy exactly I mean seriously I know uh, being a human isn't easy but being a psychic the telekinetic abilities Ooh. Yeah. All right, then. I'm kind of proud. I mean, what's the worst that could happen besides him, uh, him losing his damn mind? I think like I got this as a win. Hmm. Yeah. Or at least, it could always be worse. If I'm worse, well, think of it like this. If he does end up losing his mind, he could end up destroying himself. If he does end up gaining control, you gotta remember, his soul is a... Is a not alone. It's not just one, but three. They're going to be trying to fight for control over that meat suit. I mean, there are ways to counteract it, but it's not going to be easy. What we got to do? We? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. What do you mean by we? Oui? I'm not speaking French. I'm talking about me and you. We brought this kid into this world. Damn. No, you did. You decided to have him. I'm just along for the ride. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have, uh, you must have me mistaken for someone who has patience for your demon bullshit. So, um, options on how uh, we can uh, fix our son? I am open to your suggestions. Okay, okay. Here's what we can do. Kill it. Try again. Fair enough. Man, he was just so clingy. <clears throat> could also, uh, train the most dominant. What? Like I said, they're gonna want to control a body, so you're gonna have to train up the most dominant soul to resist the others, of course. So that's going to take a lot of willpower. Okay, uh, anything else? Hmm. Well, you could give the other two souls bodies. What? Yeah, like I said, all they want is a body to control. Well, if anything, actually, it's very difficult for for a Cerberus to do that, considering regardless if it gets a new body or anything, at least you give the soul, other souls new bodies, they're still connected in some way, kind of like a bit of a hive mind type of situation. I think it's like mm, a wireless connection. Excuse me? Yes. Like that body is like a cell tower or a Wi-Fi router modem or whatever you call it now. And just because uh, those souls are in different vicinities, 
they're still connected to the Wi-Fi of that body. And, you know, each other. So even if we do find a new body for those other two souls, they're still going to be connected to our son. Correct. Unless, depending on the personalities of the other souls, you're going to have to be very cautious of which one you let inhabit that brat. Really? Yep. Or else it could be very... Let me see, uh, messy. Okay, and just in case we can't do that. Oh, oh this part's easy. Just have him absorb the souls. Or eat them, or give them to someone else. What? I told you before. Souls are very powerful, which, which is why we, you know, make deals for them. And, whew, one thing for certain, that kid dies, he's going to be a powerhouse. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I thought you were serious. Oh. Oh, Inko, I am. I mean, if anything, it's quite impressive. The child you spawned is gonna be quite the. Hmm. Quite the individual once he goes to the land down under. <laughs> okay. Let's see. How many rounds would it take for you to be past tense? There you go. I I am deadly serious. And as soon as that kid is dead, with that kind of a uh, soul power, he's not gonna be your what run of the mill demon. <clears throat> or you know, whatever, just in case he does end up going to the, uh, the pearly gates at the end of the day. Yeah, it can be, it's going to be very uh, interesting. So, he will lose his mind if he can't get these souls under control. Correct. And he, each of them would just be trying to fight for control over the body and uh, try their damn the best to make sure the others know who's boss. Correct. Usually it's the more aggressive, dominant one, yes. But we can transfer them into other bodies. Yes, that is also correct. What are the odds of... What? What if all three of them find different bodies? <sighs> that would be a very, very bad idea. Why? Well, besides... The kid not having a soul in his body. A vacant uh, vessel is very tempting to some very unsavory individuals. Not to mention, the time the, between uh, not having a soul can really change a person. Hmm. But, at the end of the day, those are your options. Uh. Okay, how do we get him to eat a soul or absorb it? Well, he's 
half demon for one. Yeah, but you're a fire demon. You're. It's not very special, is it? Hey. Hey, I got you. I got you in the bed, didn't I? Whatever. Plus, you are psychic. I mean, people don't usually believe in psychics anymore, but yeah, you're. Uh, yeah. I think about Wow, I was a genius. Maybe I have to start having more kids. Yeah, I don't think that will work out fine for you. Where'd you say that? And he ain't got the right equipment for it. <laughs> the audacity. Hey. I'm just saying. Well, you got some nerve to criticize my my performance. Man, your performance is eh. Woman, you where did you get the stones? Obviously not from you. But <clears throat> alright. I get what you're saying. But how difficult is it going to be, you know, for him until he gets at least, what, four years old? Oh, you, you better invest in intense soundproofing. Of not only your home, but also, you know, yourself. Because it is gonna be a rager in that poor kid's mind. <sighs> oh, good luck. Wait, wait a minute, why aren't you... Hey, you know where to find me. And... It's not like I could just dip, no matter how much I want to. At the end of the day, I'm yours. But I like my free time. Is actually just leaving. Ego, pretty much being stuck, raising a half demon, triple soul building, Izuku. Though, yes, yeah, Sasashi does send money and everything. She just wants a break. But then she has an idea. Something that might be a bit... Crazy. All that you said her, but, yeah. It's better than nothing. She decides uh, to try using her. Abilities on Izuku's mind. Luckily, we're being a psychic. She has more than just telekinesis. Sadly, when it comes to telepathic abilities, she is quite lacking. Yeah, one thing she can really do is try to ease the pain. Just tune down the noise in Izuku's mind. Of course, it does end up working to an extent. And she notices trying has ceased a good bit. Still, the fact that since she is mainly well versed in, you know, telekinetic abilities. Eh. She's not very really good when it comes to, you know, mental fortitude or fortifications. So, Izuku's childhood is a little eh, iffy on this case. Yes, he does get diagnosed quirkless 
and yeah, we does end up getting somewhat teased until he actually does end up displaying more quirk-like abilities. Which, for him, it would be Hizashi's fire manipulation. It goes telekinesis, which she is very good at using. Just really downplays it, just to keep up some appearances. And, yeah, other psychic type capabilities. Only problem is, when Iko learns this, she also realizes the man... <sighs> I might have to fortify that, uh... That bald I made. Because if anything, if you want to break a psychic suit, mental hold, you're going to need to be a psychic as well. Or find one. So she knows that it's only a matter of time before Isuku does end up breaking it. First, she wouldn't be really worried considering, okay, he's just a child, so I guess gigs are, are powerful, but are young due to the lack of practice and but add the whole demon blood in that, it's, it's going to be plum terrifying how much power Izuku has at his disposal. So, she sits him down and explains her side of the family. Which, yes, she comes from a... Uh, well-respected long line of psychics, some good at making mental blocks, others good at moving mountains, and others, well, let's just say they never had to worry about uh, money or the law. Izuku, of course, thinking, okay, so, I'm a psychic. That's, that's great. Um, why do you tell me this? It's time to start your training on this. Because, uh, let's just say I did something to help you cope with a very very dangerous part of yourself and uh, I made a little uh, vault to keep it from you know getting out of hand the last thing I need is for you to break it so I suggest we start your training okay question is this gonna be painful and eh, probably I mean I won't train you completely like how I was trained I mean I'm pretty sure they have laws against that now but it, it's gonna be still some pretty ev evasive training on one hand, you'll get stronger, though, so that's a good thing, right? Yeah! Great! Mom, are you serious? Yes. Do I have any say in this? No. Good, just, just, just checking. If anything, it's good to know that I come from a very interesting family that just so happened to be very powerful people. And wait, so psychics are real? Wait, what else is real? 
<sighs> okay. I'll tell you all the things that are real, but you got a promise not to freak out. Okay. Sure. Werewolves are real, vampires are real, ghosts are real, spirits are real. <laughs> can be vengeful and or very benevolent, as well as witches. <laughs> and though, yes, fortune tellers are a thing, a whole lot of them don't really do it for the money as much as you would think they would. Not to mention Wendigos are real. Yeah. As well as that Kukui. What? Um, mermaids? Really? Hey. No. Let me rephrase. Sirens. And also harpies. Uh, wait. Are, are gods real too? Oh, that was quick. What, what? You said gods is in plural. But yes, they are. So it's true, not just one? Like, no. Oh, <laughs> no. I mean, there is one that's the most powerful. Oof. I mean, yeah, he, he's a, actually a real powerhouse. It's, it's someone you just don't want to get on the wrong side of. But, yes. So, wait. Is Sun Wukong real? The Monkey King? I mean, yeah. I mean... Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my. Wait, does this mean demons are real? Yes, and they are assholes. Wait, you've met a demon? Yeah, I did. He pretended to be different. Wait, I thought they well, had summoned them first. That doesn't matter. Either way, uh, uh, let me think. Any other questions? Uh, when when does training start? Tomorrow. <sighs> I have a lot to do when it comes to training you. It's gonna be very interesting. But while I'm training you, you are only allowed to use psychic abilities. No fire. But, but, but it's so awesome. Yes, and very dangerous. But not as dangerous as unchecked psychic abilities. Last thing you need is to read someone's mind and find out something you really wish you didn't know. Fair point. So, oh, one more question. Okay. Um, about this vault you put in my head. Uh, what happened? Explain. No, I mean, uh, why would you, why would I need a vault in my head to... To protect you from yourself? Huh? Maybe like this. I'm a lot more powerful than I let people believe. You see, before psychics weren't always accepted back then. We had to actually be very cautious to who found out that we could do some of the things we do. And uh, usually that means limiting ourselves to a certain ability. Preferably an ability that we have allowed ourselves to be seen using in public. Okay. 
And yes, though my quirk, as I have classified it as, is a small attraction quirk, practically weak, I can, with some effort, lift this whole apartment complex. Granted, it would take me some time, some real effort to do so, but it still would be possible for me. Wow, that's amazing. I know, but still. If anything, you can't let no one know that you're psychic. Oh. Yep. If anything, if people start thinking psychics are real or learning that they're real, they'll start questioning it. If anything else is real, like you were before. Oh. Oh, okay, I, I understand. Good. But, uh, if anything, you don't have to worry about uh, certain mythical creatures. Wait, does this mean the boogie man is real? They prefer to be called boogie person? What? Yeah, I, I don't know who came up with the first boogie man thing, but yeah, they could be either or. So, if anything, they prefer to be called a boogie person nowadays. Huh. Okay, so they are real. Oh, yeah, if anything. What they really do is just scare the hell out of the bad kids. Wait, what about Santa Claus? Yes. Krampus? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, believe me. You do not know fear until you hear those dang hoofs and you know it's not reindeer. Whew. Wow, this opens up a, a whole new world for me. Yeah, you have no idea. But, I will say this. As long as you can keep your wits about you, stay calm and whatever, keep your focus, everything will be fine. You don't have to worry about crushing someone or blowing up their minds. What? Nothing. So, like I said, training starts tomorrow. And uh, please have a good night of sleep. Mom, this is going to be weird, isn't it? It's going to be a process. I will not lie to you. It is going to be one hell of a process. Next day, of course. He goes up and at him and she is raised to show her son the wonders of being a psychic. Before she gets into the real mental fortitude or the more eh, blow up your mind aspects, she does teach him more about how to use, to use telekinesis. Best way to really do that is to have him use it. He's here. He does have trouble, especially considering eh, all the whole Lord dumb that she did. Finding out that, yeah, I come from a family of psychics as well as eh, some creatures that I thought that were completely fake turned out to be real. This is going to be a long ass day. This boy is thinking. And indeed it is. He goes trying to make sure he's a good. Cannot enter any circumstances and lose control over his abilities. 
you know, banning him from using his fire is just icing on the cake. But, of course, he is very uh, scared on the whole, if I'm not careful. And, uh, yeah, the looming threat of two more souls just scraping at the edges of Zuku's mind, waiting, craving freedom is just terrifying. But, yeah, should I keep an open mind? Should I be very optimistic? That's all she really can do. Well, that's all she's doing, doing a who knows what. Now, we have a time skip to Zuku being 10 years old. He's gotten a lot better with using his second abilities, but he does end up using his fire in private. Yeah, and I don't get why Mala doesn't want to use fire. It's great for being a hero. Hmm. Yeah, a hero. I'm just starting to realize, like, uh, do I really want to be a hero? I mean, of course I don't want to be a villain, but what's so great about being a hero again? Since, I mean, yeah, you get paid, people will cheer for you and everything, but what are the real perks to becoming a dang hero? Hmm. Maybe I should really rethink my life choices. Huh, I wish I could talk to somebody. But, uh, oh well. So, you need someone to talk to, don't you? Mm. Uh, I'm sorry? No, 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 I'm sorry. Um, if anything, I should have introduced myself before it's showing up. Um, okay. So, uh, what's on your mind, kid? It's my, uh, work. Really? If anything, it's very strong. I've learned a lot for the years since my mom started teaching me how to use it. And I, huh, I'm starting to, Second guess what I want. Really? Now, what is it that you wanted to do? For your work? I want to be a hero. Hmm. Interesting. That's a very admirable, very good career choice. What about now? Uh... I don't know. I honestly do not know. I. It feels more like part of me that, yeah, it wants to help and save people, but there's this other part of that wants to conquer them. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> it's just the. For you to want to second guess yourself on whether you want to say people, it sounds more like you want to rule, like you want to control people. But I, uh, no, I, wait, do I? Hey kid, it's your choice. If anything, 
was like, go for it. Uh, I don't understand. Who are you? Yeah. Well, let's just say I know more about you than you think. Isuka Modoria. Wait, uh, you... You know my name. I know a lot more than your name, boy. So no. Why feel this way? Well, first things first. You need to stop holding yourself back and stop listening to mommy all the time. You need to actually let loose a little bit. I mean, aren't you tired of using your fire so uh, secretively? Come on, don't you want to actually see what that type of raw power can actually do? The destruction, the pure mayhem, you can inflict the pain. Him. You know, if that's what you want. Ah. Uh. What are you doing? Hmm? Kid, trust me, you do not want to read this mind. It's not pretty. <laughs> Wait, you? How much do you really know about me? I know that you're half psychic. Yeah, you're psychic on your mom's side. Yeah, I know that. It's just the fact that you don't know your dad's side so well. Uh, uh, do you, do you know my dad? Of course. Really? Um... No, I haven't seen him in a... Yeah. That's your mom's fault. What? Oh, yeah. She's keeping you away from him. No, 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 no. My, my mom has no reason to... Does she? No. If anything, she's probably not going to tell you this until it's way too late, so I might as well tell you. You are half demon. What? Yeah, that fire manipulation. That's on your dad's side. In fact, considering that pure uh, raw power that you've been holding in all this time, Ugh. No way. Oh, yes way. If anything, you just need to open your mind a little bit. Don't forget your mom did put a mental block in your uh, old noggin, didn't she? You know about that too. <laughs> yes, yes I do. <sighs> Sadly, I'm not strong enough to break it. Only our psychic can really dispel such a potent vault. Well, I... You can't ask your mom 
Jesus, the reason why you have it to begin with. But, 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 but what? If you were to break it, all, all's well, isn't it? What you have to do is, you know, overpower your abilities. Sooner or later, you're gonna get stronger than her. Granted, the time she put the blocks on you, she was at her strongest. But she's getting weaker with age. But you can continue to grow in strength. Especially with Blee, with that demon blood of yours. Just pumping through your veins. You said you don't know whether you want to be a hero or something else. I think you might need to try being something else. Stop being such a, a good boy. Try being more demonic. What's the worst that can happen? Hmm? <laughs> so funny. What's the worst that can happen? Those are some famous last words. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean, last words? Zashi. <laughs> hey, Inko, baby. Inko, <laughs> Inko, baby, me. <laughs> look, look, look. I understand how this looks. I, I get it. Seriously, let's not make a big deal out of this. Come on. Big deal. Big deal. You call right, tempt, and or corrupt our son to be more demonic. Not a big deal. Well, I know. <laughs> well, uh, um, uh, let me see. Hey, what about you? about you. You're possessing your son right now. Isn't that kind of crossing the line between being, you know, a good caring mother and a completely psychopathic helicopter parent? Hmm? Do you think about that? Yeah. First of all, point me a psychopathic helicopter parent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have no room to talk, you demonic, self centered, no good. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to make sure that Isiku has as normal a life as possible. It's all I want for him. Now, now if, 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 he if he wants, wants to, be to be a hero, a hero I, say I say let him. him. If, he, if doesn't he doesn't want to be a hero, hero okay, okay, he can be, he can be a reverse civilian, civilian or, something. or something. You know? You know? I want to give, give him every, every opportunity, opportunity to what? Be a pushover or weakling. Or do you just don't want him to be a part of my world? You want him to be a regular old human. Is that it? You want him to deny 
part of his heritage. You want him to just all up these more demonic or darker side of him until he bursts? Did you think that you training him, yes, it may be good reasons, but is it the reason because he wants to be this way or because you just want to control him to a point where you you're not alone come on come on you can go just be honest with yourself you're scared of what our child can do you have no idea how interesting he can be if given the right motivation. Yeah, he might want to be a hero. He might want to be a regular old person. Hell, he might want to be a doctor, a lawyer, or a president. But, you know, it doesn't matter. But there's one thing that you forgot to mention. What if he wants to be more like me? What if he wants to be a demon rather than be a, just a regular old weak ass? <sighs> Seriously, it goes for someone who's trying to be on the side of good, you. <laughs> you have a one hell of a way of showing it. How dare you? What makes you think you have any right to talk about my actions? What gives you the nerve to even consider that you know what's right for him? What gives you the authority? This my son. And I have every right, just as many as you do, to want to be in his life, to be a part of it. I should be able to help him when he needs it, where you can't be there. Seriously. Before you decide to go all spooky possession on him, didn't you feel his emotions when I started to talk to him? Didn't you notice how, instead of confusion, what he felt was more along the lines of excitement, curiosity, <laughs> Trust me, Inko. Our boy is more like me than what you want to admit. I understand why you want to curb these tendencies, but if you push too far, he'll run away from you. He will come crawling to me, begging for some guidance on this side of himself. And then where will you be? Yeah, alone. Something I noticed that humans really don't like to do. Face it. Whether you like it or not, he's half demon. And he's a Cerberus. And you should start uh, considering 
getting rid of that little uh, wall you made. And <clears throat> we should tell him the full story about what he is together. Seriously, this has gone on far enough. I'm sick of you hiding from me. I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs>